All right, the first thing you want to do is make sure it's unloaded, which it is. And then you want to undo this front screw. It doesn't come all the way out, you just loosen it. And then you push on this clip here. And the front band slides off. And then you can take the top hand guard out. And then the whole thing will just lift out of the stock. Right, now that you have the barrel out of the stock, what you want to do is push out this front pin. And it's real loose. It'll just fall out if you push it. And then slide the whole trigger guard back. And it will come loose. Then you take out the rod, just push back and lift up. And then to take off the charging handle, there is an opening right there. And there's also an opening right there. And you want to line up the charging handle with those two notches. and it'll twist out. Just like that. And then to take the bolt out, you just wiggle it. And it'll come free. All right, to disassemble the trigger assembly, first thing I do is take out the magazine release. And to do that, you take a small screwdriver and there's a, a small pin inside that hole. And you just stick the screwdriver in and push down on that pin. and the mag release will come out. And then there's actually two pins. There's one on the side that gives it its tension. And then there's one at the top and that's the one that we push down to let it come out. And it actually has two functions. It pushes up on the mag release and it also puts tension on the safety. You can see that's loose now that we've released this. So just pull it out and then your safety will come out. And then next thing that I do is I take the hammer spring out and so you just wanna release the hammer and then I get a punch there's a hole in the front 
and I get a punch to stick through it. And then if you pull back, you can release the pressure of the spring. And then now that your hammer's loose, it's easier to push this pin out. You can do it by hand. And your hammer just pops right out. Now all that's left is the trigger. And the trigger just has one pin as well. But there is a spring in here, so you want to be careful that parts don't jump out when you push that pin out. Alright, now that my punch has replaced the pin, I can slowly pull it out with my finger on top to make sure that the parts don't jump out. And then if you release the pressure, your sear comes out. And then there's a there's a spring on the inside right there. You just pull that out. And then as you push up on the trigger, it'll come right out. And you might have to help the spring. There it went. There's the spring. So that's the complete disassembly of the trigger and hammer. Now we'll do the bolt. Okay, the disassembly of the bolt. There's a spring and plunger right there that pushes on the extractor. And what you have to do is while you're pushing down on that pin, you push out the extractor itself. The extractor goes all the way through and serves as a pin to hold in the ejector and the firing pin. So what you have to do, or what I do, is I wedge a small screwdriver in between the extractor and the pin. Which is easier said than done. Okay, now that you've got it wedged in between, what you want to do is make sure your screwdriver doesn't come out. And then you can push on the extractor. Okay, I was able to get it off camera. I went ahead and cut the video because sometimes it takes a while. Um, and what you want to be careful of is that when you do finally get the uh, extractor out, 
um, the little plunger um, likes to shoot out. So just keep your finger or something over the front when that happens. But um, all you do is just what I showed you. You gotta wedge a screwdriver in between the extractor and the, the plunger and then just push it out. And then that'll free up your ejector which just pulls out the front and that frees up your firing pin which just falls out the back and then you want to remember the little spring that's in there and that's the complete disassembly of the bolt Okay, now that I've got everything all cleaned up, the next thing we're going to do is reassemble. And I like to reassemble in reverse order of the way I took it apart. So the first thing we'll put in is the trigger and the spring. And you want the flat part of the spring to rest in that notch on the trigger and then the open part, the coiled part will rest in that bottom hole and it's kinda tricky to get it in there on camera, I'll do my best to show you kind of got to push down so that it slides in and you can see the coil is in that hole okay after you've got your trigger and spring in the next thing to do is stick this spring here into there's a hole in the trigger right there okay now that that's there tricky part and we're going to try to get it on camera without knocking the camera over is there's a little cup there on the sear and that's where the other end of that spring goes and the hard part is that you have to get all of those holes to line up so that we can put our pin through So what I do is I get the pin started so that all I have to do when the sear is in there is just get it lined up with the sear which is still easier said than done didn't get it
This part is tricky enough without having to work through the viewfinder. There we go. Now the next thing I do is put the hammer back in. And this part's real simple. You just stick it in. And you'll have some spring tension because of the sear. All you do is just line up the hole and then drop the pin in. Remember to check it. It engages with the sear, put pressure, and it releases. Next thing to do is put the hammer spring back on which is this part. And it goes in the top hole. And in that notch right there. And the same punch that you use to take it off is the same technique that you use to put it back in. It's just a little bit more difficult because when you compress the spring, it wants to bend, and the rod doesn't always want to go through it. Sometimes it wants to hang up. Like it is there. So you sometimes have to push on the bottom of it to get it to go in. Alright, next is the safety and the mag release. For the safety, all you do is stick it back through its hole. Just like that. And then you'll take your plunger, that's uh, the spring that's got the plunger on both sides. and stick it in the hole and that'll put pressure on your safety and then you want to take your other spring and plunger and put it in this hole And then you take your mag release get it started and you're gonna have to push down on this pin to get it to slide in over it Now that it's started, you can push it the rest of the way, and it will just snap in. This is the part that you uh, defeat when you take it apart. I don't know if you could see that earlier.
safety works. So that's all put back together. Now comes the fun part. Anybody who's ever completely disassembled an M1 carbine knows how difficult this is. What you have to do to reassemble the bolt, there's a notch on the firing pin and there's a notch on the ejector. And what you have to do is get both of those notches lined up with that hole. You can see inside the hole how those notches have to line up. And then when you put the extractor through, it will lock both of them in place. And this is difficult because you have to have the ejector pushed down and this spring here pushed down at the same time that you push your extractor through. And pushing all of those things down, you soon run out of fingers. So the easiest way that I've found to put it back together is to use a pair of pliers. Um, and you want to wrap the bolt with a, an old rag so that you don't scratch the bolt. And you want it to be opened. So what you want to do is you want to stick your firing pin in and you want to stick your ejector in and you want the notch, the open part, to be facing the largest locking lug so that when you push it down, it'll line up with that hole. You can see it now. The spring and the bottom. So when you push that in, the notch will line up with that hole. And then, your extractor spring You want to stick the spring in the hole and then this little plunger has a flat spot on it. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. It has a flat spot and that flat spot locks into the flat spot on the extractor. Just like that. So what you want to do is get this set up so that the flat spot is facing the bottom of the bolt. Then what you want to do 
Fortunately, the extractor is long enough that it will hold the ejector down before engaging the extractor pin. So what you want to do is start it. You want to push up on the firing pin so that you'll get it lined up. And then when you start your extractor, it'll grab the firing pin and lock it in place. And then at this point you want to go ahead and wrap the whole thing with your rag. And what you want to do make sure this is straight. With the pliers, you want to apply gentle pressure on the extractor while pushing down on the ejector and that'll cause the very tip of the extractor to grab onto the ejector and it will hold it there so all you have to do is worry about pushing this spring down. So as you gently squeeze with the pliers, you want to push down on your ejector. And as long as you've got pressure on the extractor, it will hold your ejector. But you want to be careful when you do this because if you let off the pressure of the extractor, then the ejector will do just that. It will eject and it will fly up and hit you in the face. So make sure, you know, if you're going to be looking over it to wear safety glasses and just try not to look over it when you do this because I've had to search for these things before. All right, now what you want to do, still squeezing it, you have to push down on this pin so that your extractor can go over the top of it. <clears throat> and you can see there how it popped out even though I was holding it with the pliers. I'm trying to do this in the viewfinder so you can see it. not the easiest thing to do. I'm trying to get this so you can see it. I had to change the angle of it. After you get it started, you can kind of see that the extractor is on top of the pin now. You might have to come in from the other side and push it down, kind of wiggle it over. Um, one thing that you need to know is that if you're putting, if you're squeezing too much pressure um, with the pliers, then you won't be able to push down on the pin. So it's a delicate balance of um, keeping enough pressure to keep this pin down, but not enough pressure that you um, can't move this pin.
think I got it. Now hopefully you can see that the flat spot of the pin is engaging with the flat spot of the extractor. All right, to reassemble, I didn't show you this when I was taking it apart. There's a little notch right there. And that lets the firing pin go in. All you do to stick the bolt in is just stick it in there and twist it and rock it a little bit. Put your charging handle back on. You have to get this lug there to go in that notch, and you have to get that lug to go in that notch. So you want your bolt to be about halfway back. Because in order for the lug to line up with the notch, it's going to be, it's going to have to be even with this to go back in. So what you do is you just stick it back in. Kind of have to do your little twist thing. get your there it is I get that lined up at the same time you get the back lined up okay now we got the front one in just have to make sure the back one falls in. There we go. Alright. Now the next thing to do put our spring back in and our rod and you just stick that back in the hole push pressure on the spring and put it back in its hole And there you go. Last thing to do. Is just reattach the lower. All you have to do there. Is just slide. This back piece. Into there. And your front. Will match up with these holes here and then you just stick your pin through alright now to put it back in the stock 
Um, if you want to, you can take this part out. You just undo that screw. Um, but it's not necessary for um, just disassembling the gun because um, this part on the back just rocks in and out. You're going to be careful because that pin is loose and it can fall out on its own. So to put it back in, just drop it down in the stock. And you can see there how it'll rock in. Then you'll want to get your top hand guard. And it's got a lip on the back. It goes in this groove right here. And then it will just slide the band back over. You might have to push down on that clip if it's tight. And then you just tighten that screw. And you're done. And that's how you do a complete disassembly and reassembly of an M1 carbine. Thanks for watching.